I am pumped up today. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. We did a short on it a little bit ago, giving you a sneak peek, but these are mini dumps, all right? The ultimate work UTV. We have a manual and an automatic to show you today. A lot of similarities, a few differences between the two, but these make me laugh so hard at my John Deere Gator. I'm telling you, they are gonna trounce it in every way possible. I can't wait to tell you the details. Let's get into it now. Okay, so first things first, these are coming from Japan. They're imported, very challenging to do. You have to be set up the right way to do it, and this is being done the right way. These are off-road use only. These are manufactured by a division of Toyota called Daihatsu, so they are built to automotive specifications all right so engineering all the processes that go into it and we all know the reputation of toyota and japanese quality in general is top notch so being built to automotive standards all right now you have to kind of juxta position this against a john deere gator a polaris ranger and as standalone machines those are great and well i, I do knock the john deere gator but i love my polaris ranger however they're full of plastic all over the place um, i've got little rattles that are on it. I close the doors as hard as they can, and when I go through a mud pit, I still get mud and like dirty water that comes in through the doors. These are, these are built to automotive specifications, all right? That's, that's a totally different design. Steel all through it, the whole frame and structure here. It's just a completely different vehicle that you're getting for 20, 25% less than a Gator or a Ranger. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, you step back, you take a look at it, and you can see the proportions of it, right? You have the smaller cab up front, the big bed on the back, all right? Whereas my Ranger, I do have a two row Ranger with a small dump bed on the back. My Gator has a little bit bigger bed than my Ranger, but it's still just a, a single cab. This is gonna be pretty equivalent to that as far as that goes, as far as the size of it. It's five foot wide, 10 foot long all around. But this dump bed, 1500 pounds, okay? And it's electric over hydraulic to raise and lower it down. Not only that, but these sides fold right down, take the rear tailgate right off. You can treat it like a flatbed so you can load from the side, either side, but it's got a swinging tailgate too. So if you wanna treat it like, like a, a dump bed and you spread your load out like a big dump truck would do, you can do that. Or you can just treat it like you want to, like a normal tailgate and fold it down, kind of the normal way, I guess. Now, this comes with a full HVAC cab, all right? So that means you're gonna have air conditioning, you're gonna have heat. It's good 365 days of the year, rain, snow, sunshine, cold, it doesn't matter. Listen to this. It's like closing your car door, all right? That's totally different than my Gator or my Ranger. Really, really hard to beat. You got vinyl floors in here, vinyl seats, so it's easy to keep it clean. You take your dog along, you take your tools along, you get dirty in the field and you hop on in. Easy to clean, unlike my Gator but like my Ranger. Now, speaking of snow, these are rated to put a snow plow on the front. You're gonna have to check this thing out. We don't have it set up yet, but it's coming soon. Gonna be super, super awesome. You can put a Western plow in there, a Fisher plow, put a salter in the back. They're gonna be down at the, uh, the Expo Show in Louisville as well, that's coming up next month. I'm telling you, these things are unlike anything else that's on the market right now. Way better bang for the buck. Go to minidumps.com to check them out. All right, let's hop on in here. I'm gonna fire this bad boy up. I want you to see, or hear, I'll turn the air off, just so you can hear how it sounds, how quiet it is. It's crazy quiet. Actually, when I drove out here, Chris was already out here. He's like, I didn't even hear you drive up. They're that quiet, they really are. Oh, gotta push the clutch in. This is the manual, all right? So we do have the door open so you can hear some sound coming from back there, but very quiet overall. This is just a nice, tight, secure vehicle. Off-road vehicle is what it is, all right? 660 cc fuel-injected engine. You get 40 miles per gallon, all right? So I don't even know what my Gator or my Ranger get, but I feel like I do have to fill up my Ranger more often than, than I would think I need to. So Chris, would you do me a favor, shut that door so we can see what it sounds like, hear what it sounds like? Okay, so this is what you're working with, all right? We're in, we're in neutral right now, revving it up. 
nice and quiet. Love it. Okay, we're gonna turn this off. All right, so probably a good time now to talk about, ah, you get that, thanks, appreciate that. Good time to talk about the manual transmission, all right? So automatic in our other unit over there, manual in here. Now your foot pedals are set up the same way as a manual transmission vehicle over here in the States. Obviously you're on the right hand side, but the steering wheel is the same stinking thing. All you have that's different is just you're shifting with your left hand instead of your right hand. It is different compared to a regular vehicle. However, folks that are on farms, that are in construction, that are in municipalities, all that kind of stuff, we drive skid steers, we drive tractors, we drive payloaders, we drive mini X, everything that has different sets of controls all the time. And so you get used to it very quickly. I'm already used to this uh, setup here and it really is just shifting with your hand that's different, your left hand instead of your right hand, the foot pedals, the steering wheel, that's all the same. So nothing else is different. They don't make these in a left side drive, okay? So you're, you're stuck, this is your option here. It seems weird for a day, that's it, okay? And then you're used to it. I think a lot of folks out there have these mini dumps already um, from various ages and most of them are right side. I think they used to have some that were left side, but that's what you're gonna see now is, is the right side. No big deal, you get used to it. So I was skeptical of that first, Again, you get used to it in like literally a day. It is not a big deal. There's some other benefits that come with the manual transmission as well. The biggest one, if you're coming from the tractor world, maybe some other worlds too, is the high low range, all right? So you have the ability to put this in a low range. So if, you're, if you wanna use a snowplow, really great setup for that, all right? You get more torque in a low range compared to a high range or the auto that doesn't have a range select, it's just a CVT transmission. You just push the pedal and go. So again, thinking about a tractor, if I'm doing kind of grunt work, you know, if I'm pulling a tiller, if I'm pulling a plow, if I'm pushing snow, anything along those lines, I'm never gonna be in high range. I'm gonna be in low range. It's just the right range. You get the most torque, the best benefit for the machine to push that snow and the most power to the ground that way. So you don't get that option in the automatic that's only available in the manual transmission. You still have locking rear differential, all right? You're gonna have four wheel drive too, just push button four wheel drive to get that done. But same thing, you know, if you're gonna be using the dump bed a lot for heavy loads, well, again, I think the low range, the option to have that in the manual transmission is pretty darn awesome. Again, you don't get that in the auto. That one, you just put it into gear like your car and you drive. So I'm six foot three, 200 pounds. This is about, well, I can't put the seat back any further, all right? So it's about the same amount of size that I have in the Ranger or in the Gator. You know, I guess I'm a little bit above average as far as those metrics go, and I'm fine. I don't think if you're a whole lot bigger than this, you're gonna find it very comfortable. You're gonna run out of room at some point. Um, but again, I'm on the larger side, so when you're looking at me sitting in here, that's your comparison point, all right? Six foot three, 200 pounds. Got a radio here, plays all the Japanese stations you want. Yeah. Just kidding, I, I, I think it picks up the US stations. You've got all your HVAC controls with your AC, heat, you know, at uh, blow to your face, defrost, feet, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Lock and rear diff, you have your, your 12 volt outlet there. I mean, it's just it's just set up ready to go. Parking brake here too, it's, it's easy to operate. Roll down windows, okay, they're not automatic windows, but just roll right down. Okay, I mean, it really is, I mean, this is, it's, it's automotive style, all right? It's just, nothing feels, rattly or slapped together, I guess. Yeah. I don't know how to explain that in another way, but it just feels like you're in a little mini F-150, sort of. You know, and you have grab handles on, on both sides. You have your rear view mirror, your side view mirrors, little dome light, visors, flashers. I mean, you name it. It's, it's set up with all the right things, cup holders and tray storage and everything else. It's just, what's it missing? We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Answering a few questions that came out of that short video, um, a lot of folks interested, all right, but what's the warranty like, all right? It comes with a one-year warranty, actually the same company that helped develop um, 
a Kubota warranty developed the warranty for these. So one year warranty on there, the option to buy another year of warranty as well. Financing is available. Again, just go to minidumps.com. That is where you can get all this information from. Who's gonna buy these? Well, I mean, anybody that's interested in a work UTV, all right? If you're shopping for Gators, if you're shopping for a Ranger or a Kubota RTV, these are gonna be in that same space, all right? The same kind of industrial workspace, you know, as far as farmers and ranchers, um, municipalities, colleges, universities. You know, they sell a lot of these to, uh, to, to graveyards. I mean, places that are utilizing dump beds and looking to do work. This is not like a trail riding vehicle here, all right? It's not meant to be that. You can see it's, it's not outfitted like those big razors, you know, with the big old tires and huge suspension and all that. It's, it's not in that segment. It's in more of the Kubota RTV type of segment. And where you see those going around golf courses even, um, that's where you're using these. And now where can you get these? It's gonna be through minidumps.com. Nationwide, shipping to you, all right? That's gonna be set up that way. So it's just streamlined and efficient. I like working with smart people and companies. And that is just the best way to do it. That's how my company is run. We ship nationwide. I'm asked if, if places can be dealers all the time. And I just say no. We have the ability to, to service and ship nationwide. Now these are sold with a farm package, all right? And so that's gonna mean they have a rear work light on there so you can see uh, what's going on behind you. They have locking rear differential. They've got the four wheel drive. They've got these kind of off-road all-purpose tires that are on there so they're not gonna be like a smooth road style tire that's on there. And then of course, the manual has a high low range which that is really, I think in my opinion, just the, the, the ultimate of the ultimate work UTV because you, again, you get the low range where that's where coming from the tractor world, you just get a lot more oomph and a lot more torque out of it doing that when you're gonna be, if you're gonna be plowing and if you're gonna be putting a lot of heavier loads in the dump bed on a regular basis. If you're just doing light stuff, I think the auto's what you need. Now, I guess the other benefit I didn't mention though is that the manual's gonna be cheaper, right? Just like a manual transmission and a tractor is cheaper than a hydrostatic transmission, same thing. Manual here is cheaper than an automatic transmission. So that's a big bonus too. Answering a few other questions, how much do they weigh? Well, they're about 2,200 pounds, all right? So if you did have to haul it a long ways, you could put it on like a tandem axle landscape trailer and haul this thing along uh, to from point A to point B, no problem there. Parts availability, all right? There are gonna be parts available both domestically and internationally right out of Japan. So you're gonna have a lot of options there to get parts quickly if you do need them down the road. And then these are outfitted with a two inch receiver on the back. So if you need to haul another trailer or maybe a log splitter or something else that you wanna take along with you, hook something up to the back and haul that along too. Or even if you're moving boats and trailers and stuff around your lot, you have that option to do so with the mini dump. So here's the inside of the automatic version. And again, it's basically the same thing as the manual. The only difference is you just have your, your shift lever here to go from park, reverse, neutral drive, and so on. There's no high, low here. There's still, still a parking brake, all right? So other than that, your whole dash is configured the same. You still have the mirror, the handles, the visors, the dome light, the roll up windows, all that kind of stuff is exactly the same and outfitted the same. So doesn't matter which one you get as far as that goes. The only difference is right here with, instead of the, the shifting, you have your, your gear select there, and then there's no high low. I think the most common question that came up in that short that I posted was, are these four wheel drive? <clears throat> Maybe this graphic is not easily seen, but yes, these are four wheel drive, not full time. Okay, you can do four wheel auto and, uh, and the automatic, or you can just select four wheel in here, or you can do full on lock mode if you want, and locking rear differential as well. So two wheel, four wheel, locking rear diff. These uh, graphics packages are optional, all right? You don't have to get that on there, um, but it's an option if you want to. Other than that, that covers all, I think all the highlights and most of the questions that you guys asked too. Again, just go to minidumps.com if you want more information. That's where you can buy these at, get them financed, get more information on the warranty, the features, the specs, get them shipped right to you. There is no doubt in my mind that this is the ultimate work UTV for a way better price than a Gator, than a Kubota RTV, more capacity, the only one built to automotive engineering standards, okay? Nothing else like it on the market. I'd like to know what you guys think about them, but these aren't, these aren't the first time ever seeing these, right? A lot of folks in the States have these already, and they speak very highly of them, all right? And you're always gonna have a bad one here or there, but overall, 
they're a real game changer and I think a really good value. I'll definitely be putting these to work in the future around our property here. And if you have questions, I'll make sure to answer those in future videos as well. And on that note, it'd be a great time to subscribe to see more. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Oh,